Okay, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As you already know, this is your U.S. General, five drawer, two card with side tray and deep compartment. Today is Monday, as you can see. We just now making it back over to the storage unit, getting back to it, getting busy as always. Okay, it is a fresh new week. I hope everybody enjoyed their weekend out there. Okay, over this past Saturday, I did shoot a nice, decent piece of content that I wanted to share with the viewers, but unfortunately, I've been having an issue with uploading it to YouTube. I even tried to transfer the information to a different device, which the transfer did go through, but on the opposite device, for some reason, the video was not playing, and from the device that I'm recording from now, it's still giving me an issue with basically uploading it uh, to YouTube at the prior moment. So I guess when that issue clears up, maybe I will be able to possibly get it back out. OK, um, in this particular segment today, I will have a little slight um, little minor uh, tool haul for you. OK, just as well as I got to go through some things, got my work cut out for me right now. Got to do a little inventory check as far as um, what I'm still lacking, what I still need and things like that. So you'll possibly be able to get a um, good bird's eye view of that just as well as while I'm taking a look at things. All right. But I ain't going to hold you up too much more longer in the introductory of things. But as I always state as usual, I always keep my signature lingering somewhere in the background my dunkin donuts coffee you already know okay so pretty much i'm about to get some contents out to the top of the tool cart all right we're gonna get to it and we're gonna dive right in so walk with me let's get it okay as you can see got a couple of items up at the top of the tool cart gonna get my box cutters out and we're going to dive right into it. Let's get it. Okay, coming out of the first package real quick. As you can see, I did receive my second mount. Okay, so that I can basically get back to these modifications. So as you can see, um, the company www.chargecity.com. Okay, mounting solutions and accessories for smartphones, tablets, cameras, fitness and lifestyle. All right, so this is going to enable me, you know, to basically get this mount to this side of the cart, testically like that one right there. All right, so now we're going to move along. Let's get it. Okay, as you can see, got the next package. All right, so I'm about to uh, get the items from out the box, and we're going to take a good look at that. Let's get it. Okay, what you're basically taking a look at here, as you can see, all right, this is an eight-piece SAE ball hex socket driver set, part number 208-EFT-ABY, okay? Um, this is to go along with some of the rest of my SAE standard equipment, all right? So we're going to move along because I got to still have a lot to get through, all right? Okay, now we're going to move along into this final little package real quick. So let me get things out. And let's dive right in. Okay, what you're looking at is the half inch drive Astro Pneumatics. Um, just came in, as you can see, this is a 15 piece set. Um, this is the Nano Impact Socket Set, which is the metric set here. Um, the part number is 78215. Okay, this is the extra addition um, to the three eighths that I basically uh, just picked up the other day that I threw up in my last video. Once again, to give you the part number, 78215, all right? Okay, just in case you didn't catch that video, um, this is the 3 8 set right here, as you can see, which is also a metric set. And this is a 14-piece set, testically compared to the half-inch drive, which is a 15-piece set. And the part number is 78314. OK, with absolutely no skips, I believe um, between both sets. See if we can get um, your specs and measurements here. OK, from 10 millimeter to 24 millimeter. OK, as you can see. Let's move along. Okay, as you can see uh, real quick, um, the half-inch drive rail 
It is very long. I'm not quite sure um the size. This looks more longer than 18 inches uh testically uh for the rail. Okay. But this is the 3 8 set as you can see here. Okay. Which the half inch drive set is towards the back. Um in that last previous video, I did do a little slight comparison between the low profile snap-on sockets. Um in this particular video, I'm going to take a look um at these sockets testically compared to some mac expert um some mac o's all right and a gray pneumatic real quick okay as you can see um at the prior moment i have quite a few different sockets out to the top of the tool cart so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over here first all right what you're basically looking at is a set of mac o sockets um these are three drive impacts as you can see the part number is sbpm 106 TAs right here. Um, this is ranging from 10 millimeter to 19 millimeter, as you can see here. Moving along over here, the comparison that I did the other day was with the snap on, as you can see. Low profile sockets, these are 12 point. Okay, this is an 18 millimeter right here. This is a 14 millimeter. This would testically would look like um a shallow, but this is a mid length Mac Tools Expert, all right? 14 millimeter socket here. Part number. Focus in real quick. Okay, moving along is a 14 millimeter Tecton shallow half inch drive impact socket. Okay, just as well as this is a 17 millimeter gray pneumatic okay this is also a half inch drive all right so just real quick i'm gonna um get one of these sockets out from the mac goals so that we can take a look in comparison compared to some of these astro pneumatics let's get it okay what you're looking at first is the snap on then you have the astro pneumatic the third socket is the mac o the chrome socket is the mac expert Okay, the next following socket is the gray pneumatic and towards the end is the tectin. All right. And as you can see, the distance between the snap on the Mako at a 16 millimeter to a 24 millimeter of the Astro Nanos are testically at its same height. Okay, as you can see here. All right. Um, the snap on is still coming in more shallow, but it is a chrome socket testically compared to an impact socket. OK, so just to give you a rounded idea of how things look. OK, let's move along. So now the lineup is now with the three eighth nano socket. All right. So if you missed that last um, previous video, you can see the distance between the snap on. OK, and the 19 millimeter and the three eighth drive. OK. Let's move along. Okay, while I'm checking my inventory real quick, um, just a little note. This is some of my SAE standard. Okay. Um, my socket selection do actually, um, fill the real estate of the U.S. General Five Draw Tool Cart. So, you know, this is why it's important for me, um, to get a different storage unit for the mother load of my equipment. Cause as you can see, just along, um, the top of the tool cart all the way to the side tray is just completely packed, just along with SAE standard, um, size measurements. I'm not going to go through, um, all the part numbers or anything like that. But basically, what you're taking a look at here, okay, these are e talks right here. This is your pipe plug set right here this is shallow 3 8 right here this is your 3 8 deep okay as you can see um this is your half inch drive shallow this is your half inch drive deep in chrome this is a uh, 3 8 drive shallow 3 8 deep impacts as you can see this is um your shallow half inch drive impact these are your deeps back here is your semi deeps this is the set that i basically put in that last video as you can see these are the flip sockets okay these are your talk talk pluses here this is the quarter inch um deep and shallow impacts and what you have back here is your quarter inch deep um semi deep and shallows over here okay what you're looking at over here 
is your half inch drive swivels, you have your three eighth drive swivels, then you have your SAE standard low profiles. All right, let's move along. Let's get it. Just as well as you also see here, your adapter set. Okay. Okay, moving along. Um, this is some of my metric equipment here. As you can see, um, right here is your oil filter um, sockets. Uh, which we're taking a look at is the FDX. Uh, this is 3 8 shallow, 3 8 deep, and chrome. Um, back here is your FDX, chrome, shallow, and quarter inch. This is the deep. Okay, um, this is the quarter inch impact, deep and shallow back there. This is half inch drive deep. This set is the continuation to this set here. All right, this is 3 8 drive, um, shallow impacts. This is the 3 8 drive deep. Okay, as you're taking a look here, this is the half inch drive. These are, um, the mid length swivel impact sockets. These are not the, these are the semi deeps here. Okay. Um, but you're taking a look back here. All right. This is half inch drive and three eighth drive. Okay. These are semi deep impact sockets, as you can see what it's ranging from. Okay. The part number to this item is 312 IMM S212 IM. All right. Up here, as you can see, I have my universal joints. All right. Um, these are your quarter inch flip sockets, BMW. Here's your quarter inch swivels. These are your three eighth drive swivels. These are your half inch drive swivels. Back here, you have your axle nut sockets. And as you can see right here is the low profile, um, metric 12 point. Okay. Ratchet and socket set. Okay, this is just some of um the metric equipment. I still don't have everything out at the moment. All right. Okay, I'm not going to run through everything today, but just to give you a little idea where we at the prior moment. Now I got some specialty stuff out. All right. As you can see, have your triple squares. All right. You have your long torques. Back here, you have your swivel impact arm extensions. Okay. Here, as you can see, you have your SAE standard and metric flare nut socket set all snap on. Okay. Um, these are your hex metric and uh, ASAE back here. What you're taking a look back here is your metric crow's foot just as well as your SAE standards. All right. Over here, you have your quarter inch universals. Um, when it came to the sockets here are the half inch shallows and chrome and half inch in um impacts um just as well as i have quite a few extensions over here as you can see half inch drive three eighth drive quarter inch drive have some impact extensions here some locking extensions here and some of a quarter inch all right so this is just you know some of the items between you know my sae standard and metric at the prior moment okay all right i'll try to make this uh, real quick and real brief back here is, um, your short picks just as well as you have your seal removal kit right here. You have your longer picks here. As you can see, you have your radiator holes picks here. Okay. You have your soft grip punch and chisel set here. You got your brake caliber press there. As you can see, you have your long torques here. Back here is the zero degrees offset. Um, I just actually came across another, um, shallow set of quarter inch impact sockets this is 12 point here as you can see is the red um t handle set here you have your long radiator holes pick set just as well as your holes clamp removal set and your long cabinet screwdrivers okay Okay, moving along, as you can see, six piece set, um, screwdriver set. Um, this set back here is your, um, brake master kit right here. Brake tools, um, your snap ring pliers, internal and external. As you can see here is the 76 piece tap and die set. Okay, also have, um, a 10 piece extractor set back there, just as well as a 48 piece rethreading kit set back over here.
Alright. Alright, so this video is getting already a little bit too long. Alright. So I'm going to wrap it up, you know, right about here. Alright. So that you could just see, you know, where we basically at with it, you know, at the prior moment. Alright. So this is what it is. This is what it be like. Okay. As you can see. Go away state just as well as down here. I also have ratchets, you know, laying around in other areas, you know, of the car. You ain't never see these. Okay, this is your quarter inch magnetic um bit ratchet right here. Okay, I'm not quite sure what the part number is um for this right here. It just it has a pouch number, but um I just don't have the time right now, you know, to get into the item description number but as you can see this is USA made right okay so that's going to be pretty much it on the day right now got some modifications to get to like I said I got my work cut out for me at the prior moment all right so into that next tool haul, that next tool review, all right, that next modification video, we going to check you later. Peace.